WGNC Live. Now, in a near unanimous vote, members of the International Alliance of Theatrical Stage Employees Union approved to authorize a strike. Now, the move could stop Hollywood productions for an indefinite period. One show that will be spared from a potential strike, the star's hit drama, BMF. It's set in Detroit in the 80s. The series is loosely based on the real-life story of brothers Demetrius and Terry Flinnery, who allegedly ran one of the largest drug trafficking organizations in the country. Joining me now is BMF showrunner and executive producer Randy Huggins. It is a pleasure, Randy. Welcome to BNC Live. Talk about the personal connection you had to this project and why it was so important for you, Randy, to get it right. I mean, you just, you hit it on the, the hammer on the nail. I mean, I am from Detroit. This is a Detroit story because Detroit was instrumental in, you know, me developing into the person I am as well as me and Terry. And also Detroit has a culture of its own. I mean, we have our own language. We have our own dress code. You know what I mean? We eat certain things, you know what I mean? So I think it was paramount to really, you know, pull my city into this and make it a character the same way Baltimore was a character in The Wire, the same way LA is a character in Snowfall. I really wanted to introduce the world to you know, a slice of 1980s Detroit. I mean, let's not forget, uh, EDM is like the hottest music in the world right now, worldwide, but that's a, deriv a derivative of techno music, which was created in the 1980s by three black cats, uh, the Belleville Three, uh, Juan Atkins, uh, Derek May, and Kevin Saunderson. So to be able to just shed light on all of that, I thought it was fantastic. And I, I definitely, that was what I wanted to do. Yeah. Uh, Randy, my last question for you is, critics say this is just another Hollywood tale glorifying drug dealers. Is that what it is? And if not, tell us why BMF's story is any different from the Nino Browns, the Frank Lucas stories we've already seen and heard. No, I, I, at, at its heart, our show is a family show. It's a family drama about two brothers, you know what I mean, who, because of their circumstances, had to make certain choices. Um, it's a, it's a show about brotherhood. It's a show about love. Um, and then thematically, the themes that we're dealing with, I mean, we're really hitting colorism hard. I mean, we're really getting into mental health. Um, and then really one of the biggest conceits of our show is that you get to the, you get to get a, into the mind of a 17 year old, uh, guy who's jumping into this. So it's sort of like wonder years where he's 35 looking back over his life. You know what I mean? So we get to see how he thinks and how they were able to, you know, blow up into one of the biggest uh, organized crime families in the history of the United States. And I use that term organized crime because I think a lot of times when people talk about like black dramas, you know, they say, oh, it's a drug show. When they talk about the mafia, they say, oh, it's organized crime. These guys to do what they did, you know what I mean? Um, it was absolutely organized crime. And we get to get into the mind, mind of the person who created it. Yeah, and they still have a hold on culture to this day, decades later. Absolutely. Randy, it was absolutely. a pleasure. Thank you for joining us on BNC. We wish you nothing but the best. And with that being said, we'll be right back.